Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome. If you're not new here, I welcome you back. Very exciting day today, folks. I've just finished work for four weeks, which is always a good feeling. The second reason I'm excited today is because I'm picking my other half up from Heathrow Airport. She's coming over here for a few weeks to visit, which is, again, always a nice feeling. So I'm leaving uh, Wiltshire, basically, to head over to, Tro uh, to Heathrow. And on my way, I'm going to visit, hopefully, three little places of interest. Uh, we're on the way to one now, which um, there used to be 24 of them around the UK, which 13 of them used to be just in Wiltshire in the county of Wiltshire but there's only eight remaining now so five of them aren't visible anymore so we're, we're just about to go and visit the oldest one in Wiltshire which is about 300 years old between 200 and 300 years old supposedly um, and it's one of the biggest ones in Wiltshire as well I think if not the biggest one and then from there we're gonna head over to a fairly renowned pub here in Wiltshire, which um, I've mentioned in a couple of my other videos, so um, we'll head there. It'll be my first time there also, I've never been there before, so um, exciting for me. And then the third place we're going to visit is kind of similar to the first place we're going to visit now, but it's in a different county, it's in Oxfordshire, and it's the oldest one of these things in the UK. It's the oldest one, it's like 3,000 years old, supposedly. So. Um, all the ones here in Wiltshire, they don't really have any story behind them. There's no kind of like great story behind them. They're just, they were just created, you know, and I'll explain a little bit more when, when we get to the first one. But for now, let's just enjoy this little drive. The first one has just come into vision, actually. I can just see it up on there. So uh, let's head there now, folks. Okay folks, so we've just arrived up on Westbury Hill, so we're just, like I said before, we're just above a little town here called Westbury, so yes, up on Westbury Hill, just got here, and as you can tell by the ginger locks, it's, uh, it's rather windy, it's very windy actually, and um, I'm not sure whether I'm going to be able to get the drone out in this, don't know if the little Mavic Mini is going to cope in this, but anyways, let's go to the monument that we're coming to see anyway. Nice little ice cream van in the background. Might help myself in a bit. But there's a short little walk over to this monument now, so let's just head there. Yeah, not a bad little view from up here. I'm not going to pan too much that way because the monument we've come to see is just right there. So um, let's head on over to it. There was a crowd of people here before, but they all seem to have gone, which is great. And the wind's died down a little bit, I think. So anyways, let's make our way. So it's just down here.
you'd like to know a little more about the, the White Horse of Westbury, take a little screenshot of that, have a little gander, or you can just go on to Google. <laughs> there she is, the White Horse of Westbury. About 300 years old, they reckon. And um, the reason that there were so many of them in Wiltshire is because these banks are just made of chalk, basically. So um, they stand out clearly with the grass. So uh, there we go. That's the reason there's so many of them in Wiltshire. So something else I should mention while we're here, actually, is that um, there's the old uh, defences of an Iron Age fort that was built about 2,000 years ago here. So um, you see all this grassy area here. <clears throat> That's an old fort. It's uh, an a Iron Age fort. So there's the horse that we've just been to see. So it gives you a reference of like the size of the of the fort there. So yeah, about 2,000 years old. Called Bratton Camp. So again, take a screen grab of that if you want to know more about that. Do you know what? I'm a sucker for an ice cream. His engine's running. He's sitting in the driver's seat. I don't know whether he's just about to take off, but let's see if I can grab one before he leaves. Well, that didn't last long. Could do with another one of them. Right, let's get on the road. Get to this pub. Here we are, folks. We've just arrived at the barge in. Here she is. Let me just show you what grabbed my attention instantly. Is this old brass. That's the Milk Hill, crop circle, the famous Milk Hill. Where there's like over 200 circles in the in the actual crop circle and it appeared overnight. <laughs> Very famous. I didn't, what I didn't know here is that they have a campsite. They've got a campsite here, man. I did not know this, really. Anyway, that's pretty cool. It looks like a pretty nice campsite. Lots of teepees there. Um, so we're going to go in anyway. I'm running very low on time, actually, and I don't think we're going to have time to go and see that other white horse in Uffington. Um, it's either we go and see that, or I'm going to be very late for uh, picking Fabio up from the airport. Now, I know what's best for me, so I'm going to have to <laughs> miss that one out. So um, anyway, let's go. let's go and check the barge out. Gonna have a little look at the canal before we go indoors and uh, grab a refreshment. So this is the famous barge inn, folks. This is where everyone comes to talk about crop circles and phenomenon. Anyway, yeah, nice little part of the canal, I guess. And there you go. There's the, uh, the campsite again. So, a nice little beer garden they got here as well. Well, let's go inside and uh, grab a little drinky. I guess that's not the way in. <laughs> I was going to go around into this door here as well, but I thought that was the front door. So, uh, anyways, let's see if we can get in this way instead. Oh, 
Nice, nice paintings all along the ceiling as you just saw. Um, anyways, I'm going to sit outside here. Got myself a lager shandy. So let's go and sit over here. Perch on down here somewhere. There you go, folks. That was the barge in. Uh, you had to leave a pound deposit on the cup here. And you get it back you get your pound back when you return it but i asked if i can keep it as a little souvenir it's pretty cool isn't it it's worth a quid anyways i'm gonna head off now towards um heathrow like i said before I think someone's just gotten their bagpipes out there's some guy over there with some bagpipes, man, outside his camper van, yeah. Random. There you go. You never know what you're going to find at the barge in. Some random person in a camper van with a set of bad pipes, bag pipes. I can't even say it. Anyway, a nice little exit. Like I said, I'm on the way to Heathrow. Gonna have to give the White Horse of Uffington a miss, unfortunately, but that's for another day, eh? So off I went to pick Fabiola up from the airport. But along the way, and not long after leaving the barge in, you pass through part of a huge military area here in Wiltshire, and it got me thinking once again. I can't help but wonder what they, the military, might know about some of these amazing crop circles that appear in these parts. Some people believe that they know a lot more than they are letting on. One keen crop circle hunter that I know went on to tell me that he's been to two crop circles on separate occasions and the military have entered the circle and demand everyone leave the site immediately. Once everyone had left the crop circle and they had done whatever they wanted to do with it, they set all of the crops and the ground within the circle alight as if to hide evidence. Strange, very strange. On other occasions, military helicopters and even Chinooks have been known to hover over these amazing formations for long lengths of time. Make of it what you will, but personally I find it all a little strange. Supposedly, the ratio of real, unexplainable crop circles is that 96% of them are fake, and 4% of them are unexplainable. Anyway, enough about that. Time to pick up my better half and enjoy some much needed time together. So until next time, take care and have fun folks. Peace.